Hello, my name is Hector Diaz Alberter, and I'm a scientist working on sandflies at the University of Glasgow. Sandflies are blood feeding insects similar to mosquitoes and midges. They transmit leishmaniasis, a nasty parasitic disease similar to malaria that affects humans, dogs, and other mammals. The disease causes painful and disfiguring lesions. It can also affect the liver and spleen and become fatal. 12 million people are currently infected with leishmaniasis and 350 million in 88 countries around the world are at risk. Leishmaniasis is found mainly in tropical and subtropical regions. However, global warming is changing the disease distribution and now we have more cases in southern Europe. Currently, there is no vaccine and the drugs used for treatment are highly toxic and can cause serious side effects. Transmission takes place when a healthy sandfly takes a blood meal from an individual infected with leishmania and ingests the parasites. Inside the sandfly, the leishmania parasites develop and replicate exclusively in the gut into new infected forms. This infected sandfly will then transmit the disease when it next feeds on a healthy individual, injecting the parasites and infecting them with leishmaniasis. This is one of the reasons why we scientists are very interested in sunflake guts. We use this tissue to perform experiments to further understand the parasite life cycle and to develop new treatments. In this video, I will show you how to dissect a sunfly gut. First, I place the flies in cold dissection solution for a few minutes to anesthetize them and keep everything on ice until needed. Then, I take a microscope slide, place it on the microscope, add a drop of dissection solution, and then using the plastic pasteur pipette, I transfer the fly onto the slide, like so. Before we start, please note the size of the sand fly. It's tiny, it's about two millimeters long. Now imagine trying to perform surgery on an animal this size. Once the fly is on the slide, use dissection needles to set it sideways. Put its posterior facing towards your dominant hand. Then, using your needle, cut the last two segments of the abdomen. This fly fed on blood two days ago, so her eggs are starting to develop. Carefully, push the eggs out and move them away. At this moment, the gut is still attached to the head. Cut the head off and then proceed to push out the gut with the side of your needle, as if you were squeezing out toothpaste. Once the midgut is free, use your needle to transfer it to wherever you need. I place mine in the small tubes. Once we have collected the sandfly gut, we can perform different experiments with this tissue. Some researchers do this with wild caught sandflies and look for leishmania parasites. Thanks for watching. For more information, log on to the websites on the screen and follow us on Twitter. Until next time.